Who? What's up, people? It's Mr. Brandon here, and today we're gonna to be using Auto Arp. Now we're gonna be inserting Auto Arp and then connecting it to a synth because Auto Arp does not automatically route when you insert it into your rack. So let's go ahead and right-click in our rack and create an instrument. I'm gonna create a Thor. Then underneath Thor, I'm gonna right-click again, go to Instruments, and create Auto Arp. Now the reason I created Auto Arp second is so that my keyboard would automatically be assigned to Auto Arp, whereas before it would be playing Thor if we created Thor second. So now when I play, you can see. The sequencer is running, so let's connect that to Thor. Now we flip the rack around and we want to come down here to this main CV out section. Now we have a gate output and a CV output. So what we want to do is go to our synth and find the gate input and CV input. And for Thor, this is under sequencer control. Uh, for other synths, it could be a little bit different. For example, if you're using a synth by Rob Poppin, they are labeled as note input and CV input. So it does vary synth from synth, but the same basic function. So all we're going to do is drag the main out from auto arp and put it into the input on our synth. Same with CV. And now when we play, it works. So that's all there is to connecting auto arp to a synth. A couple videos that you might want to check out. One is last week's recap where we go over some specs and release information and some more details over some controllers that Nectar was showing at NAM. And the second video is using the FCB 1010 with Reason. Uh, we look at programming that and then setting it up with Reason and then linking it to a device. If you want to watch any of those, just click the annotation on the screen and it'll take you to that page. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you all later.